Our area law enforcement help people every single day, but sometimes there are unexpected <laughs> moments that take even them by surprise. That's right. This is one of them. Here's ABC6 News anchor Devin Martin with this story. Olmstead County Sheriff's Office Deputy Nate Jacobson started his day like any other day, and little did he know that he would help out a furry friend. It's, it's a baby skunk. Oh my God, what do I do? Pulled up to him and I just couldn't believe it was a baby skunk. You could hear the excitement in my voice during the video. I don't know what to do. It's so cute. I don't know what to do. It was this moment in Byron when Deputy Jacobson was left scratching his head. Kind of freaked out for a minute to know what to do. So I put him in some grass and shade to see if he'd just kind of do his own thing. But that didn't work. Deputy Jacobson waited to see if the little guy's mom would come back to him. But no mom in sight. So he took matters into his own hands. His dad instincts kicked in. Uh, quick skunk date. <clears throat> Gonna bring him to Paws and Claws. Not doing so hot. I think he's pretty thirsty. So he hit the road back to the Med City and he got the help he needed. Is it we're taking a skunk in? No. Even the staff here was at a loss for words about how cute this little guy is. But there Deputy Jacobson was, holding his new friend, giving him the milk he needed. What was going through your head, you know, when you were just helping out the little guy? For sure. I mean, so like you can see in the video, he was really thirsty. It was just really kind of that full circle moment. And when the internet got wind of this, they fell in love. A lot of people have come up with Mr. Le Pew, and I like that. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty funny. Mr. Le Pew is off to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Minnesota. So even though Deputy Jacobson and his new friend parted ways, we could all learn something from this story. Treat anim animals as much as uh, you want to be treated or as good as you want to be treated. So as Deputy Jacobson drives off, he will continue to answer calls not only for his human members of his community, but for the furry ones too. In Byron, Devin Martin, ABC6 News.